welcome uh, to this um, probably the last large painting I'm going to do this year for 2018. This is still live painting, fourth in a row. So this will probably be the last this year large painting, large stretched canvas this year. I'll do more uploads, but they'll be smaller canvases. So. Uh, this is um, painting the background at the moment. It's just getting the outlines of the objects behind it with a large flat brush. Painting the background, uh, I think it's a curtain, like a purplish type of curtain. Just painting in the background, filling that in, and then I'll put the details in once I've filled in the log of it. Yeah, this painting took me four days and uh, about 10 hours worth of painting, really. Four half days, 10 hours worth of painting, not including the drawing, of course. To draw it out, it took me about an hour or so. So, yeah. Just uh, filling in the, the uh, areas first. Get rid of the blank canvas a bit. I think it's a size 12 flat brush. Um, here I'm just using a bit of titanium white and to um, highlight the curtains. Using the uh, flat brush on its side, just trying to blend it in. Don't want to over blend it. If you over blend things, it tends to go a bit muddy. So I'm just blending in carefully the uh, curtain. Sometimes I'm moving in different directions. It's a made up background. Um, I always make up the backgrounds and sometimes I make up the foregrounds as well. Yeah, in fact, the table's made up as well, but the objects aren't. So I'll call this painting. Um, Still life with mushrooms and green apples. So yeah, I'm doing the uh, table here with burnt umber and permanent rosin. I usually mix that color to get the top of the uh, lighter brown. I mean, burnt umber is a brown, but I prefer to. Uh, it's too dark, so I'll lighten up with the permanent rosin table using another this time I'm using the um, short uh, head uh, large filbert brush got a point to it I like those type of brushes for that filling in a lot of areas in detail at the same time just filling in the areas and then I'll put the details in later in the detail of the table and uh, now I'm doing the uh, the tea towel. I had that tea towel for a long time. <laughs> um, I don't recall it doing been washed either. Doesn't matter. It's a good tea towel. It's my favourite tea towel for still off painting. Mixing um, titanium white with a little bit of um, French ultramarine blue. It may look pretty white, but it's actually mixed with ultramarine blue there. It's not total white at all. Using a, a flat brush, I think it's a size 10 short head flat brush. Just going over it. Tea towels are fun to paint still lives. Gotta say. Yeah, the bottom bit's going to be a bit darker than the upper bit. Well, it doesn't look at now. I'll add those uh, details in later. Just getting everything filled in. As you can see, I went ahead and filled in the dark areas. 
with um, a bit more French Ultramarine Blue and also Burn Number to darken it. Um, just to get the shading done. Now I'm using a, a flat brush outside to uh, fill the pattern on the um, tea towel. It's a, kind of like a, a dark green, but it's uh, muted down with white paint. Just a bit of a pattern there. I'll make my own greens up. With, um, yellow and, and French Ultramarine Blue. It looks grey there, but it's actually green. I could probably use a smaller brush, but those large flat brushes, they actually have a lot of uh, accuracy in them. Use them on the side, you get a sharp edge. That's what I quite like. Get away with using as large a brush as you can. That's what I say, it covers a lot of area. Just trying to be careful with these patterns on the detail. Okay, I've gone ahead and done the first um, bottle there on the on the um, left. I'm starting with the middle one now, with, uh, the green the green bottle. Um, so it's basically French ultramarine blue and cabin yellow light with burnt umber for the um, the dark areas, and I'm using again that um, large uh, short head. Uh, fill what brush they've got a good point to them just filling in the areas with the um what i like to call a uh a basic tone you know a mid tone and so i can put the highlights and the dark areas in later so just putting a mid tone or a basic tone in just getting all that done make sure you get the shapes right so you want a good brush for that. That's why I'm using a short head filbert brush because they're more pointy than the long head filbert brushes. They're good, good, good accuracy. You want a good coverage as well. I tend to use this brush all the time. Now the edge there is going to be a bit darker, so it's a bit more blue into the yellow, make it darker green. So basically, I filled it all in and. The dark areas. Now I'm just going to put some highlights on with titanium white, uh, a little bit of yellow, but mainly titanium white. I'm just putting details to the top of the rim, and I'll need to put some uh, highlights on on it right now, which is what I'm doing. I'd be using the um, a long head filbert brush for this, and it's probably about a size four. Just to put some with a with a light, because it's coming from left to right so the right side will be darker just highlighting it now with a bit of white a little bit of blue added to it not straight white highlighting some of the areas that need to be highlighted with a long head small filbert brush just dabs of white here and there where i think it's going to be shined you know this, light reflecting on it to give it that three-dimensional look you know so it's not two-dimensional taking some excess white off the paint because it's too much and just going back with a dry brush the highlights decided to add a bit more white again i probably took too much off you don't need to do too much for the highlights 
if you overdo the highlights, then it starts to look flat. Um, so you, you don't want it doing that. Yeah, around the edges of the highlighted area, you want it smoothed out. I'm just going in the middle of it. It's looking alright. I went ahead and did the object on the right, another pot. Now I'm going to, uh, and I did some mushrooms as well. Uh, now I'm going to do a little uh, terracotta pot there. Let's do a bucket on band. Um, yep. Again, with that uh, large um, short head filbert brush, which I use all the time. Put you on a large painting, just filling in the area. It's going to be a muted dark green here. It looks great, but it's actually a muted dark green. Make sure I get the shape right. Oh, now I'll just put the highlights on, on the pot. Put it on titanium white. And I'll add a spoon to that as well, I'll, I'll inside it later on. Just adding touches of white to it. It's got a bit of a chip on the pot, which I put there deliberately. Thought I'd add interest to it. Just adding a little bit of titanium white to the area where I thought it, the light reflected on. Just switching brushes to a fill bit so I can uh, Soften the edges out of the highlighted area. This doesn't look sharp. It's going over that. Now I'm going to do the uh, green apples. There's four green apples here. Green apples are a lot of fun to paint. Again, I'm using that uh, favoured uh, short head size 10 filbert brush. I love that brush, I use it all the time. Um, four green apples. Uh, just filling in the areas with the um, a base color. So a base color is between dark and light. And when I've done that, I can put in the uh, dark areas and the highlights, which I'll finish off with the highlights last. I always use do the highlights last. Just filling that area in. It just took me uh, four days. About 10 hours worth of painting, uh, not including the um, drawer and all that setup. Yep. Just filling in the uh, apples, green apples. The green apples are the easiest apples to paint. If you have trouble painting apples, uh, paint them green. <laughs> so if you see if you have red apples, paint them green, they're a lot easier to paint. Yeah, you don't have to, of course. I quite often do that. You know, I have a setup where I'm got a whole lot of red apples, and it just I can't be bothered painting them red. So I paint them green is a lot easier. Some birds chirping in the background. Sorry about that. Just getting the shapes right. Now I went ahead and added the darks and also added a bit of cap yellow light to the uh, rims of the apples. Now I'm just adding the highlights with titanium white and French Ultramarine blue with a uh, short long head filbert brush. Just um, putting the highlights in around the rims and, and where I think light reflecting off it. It looks kind of yellowish there but it's actually it's, I think it's the camera, but it's actually green apples. It doesn't look green, they look yellow, but they're actually green apples, believe, believe it or not. Just a camera angle, I think. So we're adding the highlights to the apples to give them a three-dimensional look. If you don't put the highlights in the right places, it will look flat. So you better get the highlights perfect. You better get them right. Well, not perfect, but you better get them pretty good accurate. 
the highlights are last because you've really got to think about where to where you're going to put the light it's, the highlights really make or break and uh, a painting i think so adding them in yeah, i'm happy with it i think uh i'm just going to go and sign it now happy with that like i said it took me uh, about 10 hours to paint this over four days four half days um and um this was a lot of enjoyment to paint i really enjoyed painting this one so yeah i'll be doing more large ones next year so uh, look forward to that just signing my name and, and dating it 2018 this painting was a lot of fun to paint and i uh, really enjoyed it Okay, it's all done, it's finished. And thank you guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share my video to all your friends. And uh, awesome, we'll catch you guys later. Thank you.